My name's Walt. I work as night watchman here at Fred's Wax Museum to put myself through criminology college. It used to be very lonely, until recently when I plugged in my crime computer. Suddenly, oscillating vibrations brought to life three legendary monsters. Dracula. The werewolf. And Frankenstein. Creatures hated and feared for centuries, now determined to make up for their past misbehaving by fighting crime wherever they find it. Together, we're the Monster Squad! Have a good day? Well, there were not many children. No, and there won't be many kids here this week. They'll be at the circus. I want to go to the circus. It's reported to be a very exciting circus. I want to go to the circus. I hear they even have trained wolves there. <laughs> <laughs> Subtlety never was your strong point, Frank. You know, tomorrow would be the day to go. It's Orphan's Day at the circus. Orphan's Day? 20,000 needy children will be the guests of circus management. It'll be the best performance of the year. Now we have to go. Think of a good disguise, fellas. Uh, we could dress up like clowns. Yeah, we'd look like the monster squad dressed up like clowns. That's it. On the street, We'd look like ourselves dressed up as clowns. But at the circus, we'd look like clowns dressed up as the Monster Squad. You see, fellas, I told you I was smart. Smart? I wish this museum had the extra space you have in your head. What would you say to a knuckle sandwich? No fangs. <laughs> Do you think that will hold you for a while? My adorable avoir du poix? Where's that half-wit, half-brother of mine? Sorry I'm late, but my oh, entire body had a muscle cramp. There will be 20,000 children at the circus tomorrow. And we're going to hold every one of them for a $10,000 ransom. The city will have to pay us $200 million to get the kids out of here. Well, I, I don't think it's a good idea, and I bet Fatso here doesn't think so either. Uh... <laughs> oh, the kidnap plans have been made, and we're going through with it. But why $200 million? That's exactly how much it will take to buy all the toy shops in the United States. Now, now I know you're crazy. <laughs> What's the first thing the kids do when they see you? They laugh and call me Musclehead. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to get back at every kid? Oh, you bet. This is how it works. We take the ransom money and we buy up every toy store in the country. And then we close them. You know what to do with those alarms that I stole at the hospital. Don't miss one single entrance to the Madison Round Garden. I'll give those rotten kids a show they'll never forget. They don't call me the impish impresario for nothing. Bonnie, if you weren't so beautiful, you'd make me sick to my stomach. 
the track. Come on, we gotta go. I'm coming. I'm just finishing up my makeup. It's very hard to see what you're doing when you cannot cast a reflection in the mirror. Come on, we're going to the circuit. We're going to the circuit. Print out on the computer. Police cars in areas 3 through 10 proceed to Madison Round Garden. That's where the circus is. The ringmaster has demanded that the city pay him $200 million for the release of 20,000 orphans. If the ransom is not paid within an hour, the ringmaster will not hold himself responsible for the fate of the children. Do not try to enter the building. If any attempt is made to save the children, the city will lose a lot more than $200 million. That's better. Keep it that way. If you start screaming and crying again, I'll show you what evil lurks in the heart of this man! You guys, the ringmaster has placed alarms on all the windows and doors. If that alarm goes off, it could be curtains for those kids. I could break through the wall. Frank, no. Too risky. That means we're left out in the cold. Cold? Bruce, that's it. Drac, you could turn into a bat and soar through the air conditioning. Uh-uh. The last time I went through air conditioning, the machinery broke three of my ribs. But it's our only hope. Besides, air conditioning makes ice form on my wings. I could crash. Uh, think how excited those orphans would be if they were rescued by a real vampire. Reporters, pictures, publicity. On second thought, in spite of grave personal danger to myself, duty compels me to fly. Stand up, please, and give me some room. Mayor, do you have my two hundred million dollars? Mmm. You better have the full amount here in fifteen minutes. Don't get any fancy mm. ideas about pumping this building full of knockout gas and getting in that way. Mm. An apple or an orange? Mm. Apple. Of course I'm not offering you an apple, you big gas bag. Just have that money here in fifteen minutes. Or else you'll be responsible for 20,000 children failing their classes in school. Those brats will fail in school because I have a small mechanism that will release an enormous cloud of stupid gas. That's right, stupid gas. Every one of those children will be a dum-dum. So if you don't want those kids to lose their smarts, you better have that money right over here. Get some of your rich friends to help you. Everybody knows how you got into office. Bravo, Joe. Bravo. It was nothing. I simply did my duty as any other public-spirited, modest, brave, heroic... <laughs> We're the reporters. Uh, later, Drac. We have work to do. Gotta make sure those kids are all right. But the photographers, the autograph seekers, where is my public? <laughs> now you've done it. Quick, Frank, stop the arm. Good work, Frank. I better check on those orphans. We had better find the ringmaster. Oh, ringmaster! No, not that way. How? I'll see if I can sniff him out. Not even one hero worshiper. A fawning sycophant, brother. 
This little powerhouse will be my revenge. When those kids get a whiff of that gas, they won't know what two plus two makes. Is there enough gas in there to affect all of the kids? Enough to turn everybody in the building into a splittering idiot. Why don't you set it, hide it, and let's get out of here? Quit thinking, Dimwit. <laughs> Not so fast, you big top baddies. We have come to stop your pernicious plot against those tiny little dots. It's people like you who give kidnappers a bad name. <laughs> Pathetic intruders into the animal tent. Okay, boss. Quiet down now, kids. Kids, quiet. I promise you. Hey, hey, kids. Hey, the show is going to start any minute. There'll be lions and tigers and bears. Oh, boy. Kids, listen. Hey, hey, kids. I, I think I hear the circus band. arrangement. I spin the wheel of misfortune, and wherever she stops, you lose. The wall of bars between you and the lion will rise, and you can visit with the lion. And like all my great ideas, it's simple and flawless. Take care of the bars, Frank. <laughs> I feel kind of funny and weak. It's, it's the knockout gas. <laughs> Do the wing thing, Dracula. That, it... Audi. But the gas has gotten to me, too. Oh. Round and round she goes. Where she stops. Wonderful. You lose. Also, someone carelessly forgot to feed the lion for the last two days. The poor thing must be famished. That ferocious feline has formidable fangs. Can't you guys move back any farther? I'm right in a line of fire. Oh, oh, stop crowding me. One of you was eating garlic. And you know what that says to vampires. Hey, kids! Hey, sit now, kids! Settle down, kid! Children! Hey, kid. Hey, how many kids do we have here from El Segundo? Hey, kids. Now I'm going to do one of my favorite numbers for you. Seven. Don't do that, kid. What time does the stupid gas go off? In two minutes. Where did you hide it? You know how I play fair. I hid it so the three weirdos could find it and dismantle it if they care to. You mean it's in the cage? I mean it's on the lion. The bomb is on the lion. 
The lion is about to eat the three weirdos. And 20,000 orphans are about to become dumber than a dodo from the stupid gas. That's about everything. Maybe the stupid gas will make the lion too dumb to... It's always darkest. Just before top destruction. Now be quiet. Silence. Be still. Uh, shut up. Hey, now kids, I'm sorry. Shut up is very rude, and I never use it. Please forgive me, but. Kids, you gotta be quiet. Um, hey, 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 how, how about a story? Yeah, okay, how about, um, how about John and Mary go to the circus? No! How about the Brothers Karamazov? We'll get Walt on the communicator belt. Hey, I'll see you later, kids. like it's in his head. Have you found it yet? Not, 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 not yet. But the ticking is getting louder all the time. Hurry up. We only have a few seconds. Nice kitty. Pretty kitty cat. Hey, you guys, what's going on? Rose is trying to find a time bomb of stupid girls on the lion. Stuck to his mane. Oh, you really must see a barber about that hair. Show. Three of them, rather ordinary. But the one they call Walt is a real freak. 
That makes me so mad I could rip the bars out of this cage. <laughs> Try to get out. The lion remembers what you did to his man. How's everybody, okay? Good work, you guys. Let's go home. Uh, goodbye, kitty cat. Gross. Take a number and call it at all. Another case brought to a successful conclusion by the Quixotic Quartet. Once again, the city owes a debt of gratitude to the Monster Squad. They prevented the kidnapping of 20,000 children. As a curious sidelight to the case, the orphanages report an unusually large number of stomach aches among the children. The best part is when War broke the bomb and stopped the clock before it could touch this little red button right here. <laughs> oh no! Frank got a whiff of stupid gas. <laughs> if it turns intellectual people into morons, what will it do to him? <laughs> the presidents of the United States are Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe. Hey, fellas. This gas may turn geniuses into dum-dums, but it's made me smart! 